to draw again. I'm Boris, and this is the Let's Draw Race Car Show with Boris. That's me. Have you connected those dots yet? Yeah, I work for Joe Gibbs Racing, and uh, well, we had a pretty darn good night last night. Well, here's my dog entering to celebrate and draw with us. We had a pretty good night last night at Darlington. Were you watching? Denny Hamlin won the race. Sit. Stay. My dog Nola is saying hello to everybody. <laughs> Denny Hamlin won the race. Hopefully I'm not spoiling that for you. It might have been past your bedtime. I should have given you a spoiler warning. But uh, that's what happened. So we're going to draw his FedEx race car right here today. And we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. In fact, here it is. This is a little different from the one he was racing last night. Had a special hood on his Camry last night that said delivering strength. Thanking all of our FedEx employees out there for continuing to keep those packages rolling. And uh, yeah, so it's time to draw some race cars. Are you ready? We're going to start off with a warm up though. We're going to draw the shape of Darlington Raceway, which is a very unique race car shape. So get out your pen and paper or whatever you're using to draw. I'm going to read some comments because I am just so happy about that big win. I'm wearing my Denny Hamlin hat here. You can get this hat at shopjgr.com, by the way, if you want one for yourself. And uh, I'm ready to draw the number 11 car. Okay? How about you? I'll put it over my name. Let's draw race cars. All right, who's out there? Got Devin, Michelle, Tommy Cash is watching. Let's see, Daniel, Patricia's in Ohio. Everybody really loved the race last night. Let me tell you, that was an amazing race, wasn't it? What a great race that was. Well, without further ado, let's jump into drawing. I'm using an Apple Pencil. You can use whatever you want. And uh, we will get started here. What do you say? Let me go through my layers and pick the one we want to draw on. Got a lot of layers. We've done a lot of drawing, haven't we? All right, we're going to start with the shape of Darlington Raceway, which is kind of egg-shaped. Now, you know an egg, right? This is an egg shape right here. Hopefully I don't crack it, but that's roughly an egg shape, right? Eggs, they crack, da, da 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 you know what I'm saying? Well, Darlington, it still has straightaways. An egg has no straight lines, but the one part of, well, the one turn of Darlington, turns one and two, is much wider than the turns three and four at Darlington, which makes for a very interesting track. I'm not sure if the banking's different, I think it is, but it's, uh, it's very difficult to set up car for, and only the good drivers can win there. I'm looking at you, Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., Eric Jones, all of them. Yeah, pretty awesome. So, Darlington. What we're going to have to do is we're going to start with our straightaways, but they're going to have to be a little bit like this. They're not parallel. Remember that line, parallel? that word parallel? Parallel means two lines, like the number 11, for example. Two lines are parallel if they will never meet. If they would go on for infinity and beyond, they would never cross. But Darlington, because one set of turns is tighter in radius than the other, those straightaways are just a little bit towards each other. So, here's what we're going to do. I need you to draw the number 11, but with the lines facing each other a little bit. I'll show you here in a second. If we were going to exaggerate and draw drastic lines, it would look like this. Like a cone. They're not quite that crazy, but, uh, but they're close. So, so go ahead and, and draw some lines that are about like that. The number 11 that's kind of leaning in a little bit. And then we want to connect turns 3 and 4 like this. And connect turns 1 and 2 about like this. Now like I said, I exaggerated this one a little bit. That just means I made it a little tighter than it really is. I might even adjust that just a little bit. Make this one a little wider. Turns, turns three and four are crazy difficult, but they're not that difficult. Anyway, that's somewhat how Darlington Raceway looks. A little bit of an egg shape. Of course, you got pit road over here. So that's kind of how it looks. There you go. Darlington Raceway. One of the toughest tracks on the circuit. Are you warmed up? Are you feeling good? Are you ready to draw a race car? Well, we're going to draw the side view of Denny Hamlin's beautiful winning race car. And we might even draw Denny Hamlin standing next to it. What do you say? What do you think? You think we should do that? I think we should do that. Are you ready? 
All right, let's go. Here we go. First, I'm going to have you draw a line, of course, like this. And that line is going to give us our bottom portion for our race car, our FedEx race car. Very nice. That'll be the track, I guess. That nah, might be the bottom of the car. What do you say? All right. Now, we're going to draw Denny standing in front of this car, so I need you to do something else for me. I want you to draw out a box for where Denny is going to be. These are just lines to keep Denny next to his car. So I want you in the middle of that line, draw two lines going up. And again, this is just going to protect the area Denny's in. So when we draw him over the car, we don't get in the way of our Denny drawing. Okay? This is where his feet are going to be. And this is where the bottom of the car is going to be. All right. How's that looking? Can you believe that's going to turn into a race car? Uh, I know, it's crazy to imagine, but it is. Next, draw another line going out like this. Double up the line on the bottom, but don't cross over the Denny line, okay? We're going to call that the Denny line, right there. This is going to be the bottom of our race car, all right? And then from that line that you just drew, do a little up line like this. And then do an even smaller up line like that in the back. Okay? Like that. See how I left a space at the bottom there? There we go. Looking pretty good. I'm going to read some more comments while you're catching up with that. we got a lot of lines going on here. A lot of lines. We're looking good. My dog is here watching us with us today. She's a joke. Okay, go on. Go on. <laughs> She's not a very good listener today. Oh, well. Some of us, we all have those days, don't we? All right, next. You see about the halfway point of the Denny line? About right there? It's about the halfway point of the Denny line. We're going to draw a line that goes out. I'm going to leave that race car there so you can see it. But we're going to draw a line like this. Okay? There we go. There we go. All right. This is looking pretty good. All right, next on our Denny line, I want you to close off the top about like that. So we've got a Denny rectangle right in the middle right there. All right, that's going to be, those are going to be his shoulders. You see where we're going with this now? Those are going to be his shoulders. All right. Let's see where I put that car. That's a, is that a good spot for the car? Yeah, that's a pretty good spot. So up here is going to be his head. So draw an oval. Kind of like this. Almost like the Darlington shape we just drew. Not quite, but similar. There you go. All right, we got his head in there now. Can you see how this is going to work out? We're just mapping out where we're going to put everything. All right, so next we need the roof. Now the roof is going to start about halfway on the Denny upper body like this. And actually, you know, I'm thinking, we're going to have to have Denny doing a little hand signal like a thumbs up, right? Or maybe a number one, because he just won the race in the rain. All right, so let me rethink this for a second. Let's go over here, and we're going to give him an arm doing this. It's going to be like a check mark. See that? Or a letter V coming right off. So the arm, right? Makes perfect sense. Alrighty. Next, I want you to widen that arm. Give Denny some muscles. Like that. And just leave that as it is, and we'll come back and we'll fix it. You can even come in here and erase this line if you need to. If you can't erase, that's okay. We'll just make it part of his FedEx racing suit, which does have lines like that in it. But I want you to see what I'm doing there. We kind of made a thick letter V. Like that. Okay? Make sense? You see how that's going to be Denny Hamlin's hand? Oh yeah, that's looking good, looking good. All right. Let's see here. Let's continue with that roof. So the roof line comes over here, and then it's going to cut to the back, kind of like this. All right. And then over here, we need the windshield line that starts about right there. Maybe a little further back. 
There you go. All right. See how that's working out? We've got the front of our car and the windshield starting behind Denny. And it comes back to the rear. And then here's the trunk lid. We've already drawn that area, and that'll all turn into the rear of the car. I'm going to like this one. I'm going to like this one a lot. We're going to even have some rain in this picture because the race ended in the rain last night with Denny celebrating. All right. Let's see here. Let's, let's angle off the nose. My, if you can see my dog over here, she's looking at me wondering, who in the world are you talking to right now? She thinks I'm crazy. My dog thinks I'm crazy. Maybe I am a little crazy. I don't know. But anyway, we got the front of the car here. Let's angle it a bit and do one of these numbers just to make sure it can cut through the air really fast. And it did. Denny Hamlin's car cut through the air better than any other car last night, didn't it? All right. The rear, now I got the bottom line a little too long over here, so I'm going to draw a spoiler up, and then I'm going to go straight down, and then kick out the bumper, and then I'm going to angle back down to the car over here. Like that. See how I did that? So this line was kind of a mistake for me, but that's okay. We all make mistakes. You can erase them, or if you can't, you can color it in with uh, what's going to be the asphalt or the wall. No big deal. All right, I'll clean up the nose over here. Again, if you cannot erase, don't worry about it because we're going to turn the background into some fun stuff. It's going to be in the rain. You can cover up mistakes. All right, Denny Hamlin's car looking good. This might be one of our best ones ever. I think it might be. All right. Let's draw those wheel wells. What do you think? Now, wheel well, it's the letter U. I know my buddies out there like Jack and Daniel and Devin and and all sorts of people out there, they already know this, but you might be watching for the first time. So to draw a wheel well, which is where the wheel goes in, right there, you do an upside down U. So at the front, just give me an upside down U, like this. Look at that upside down U. All right. And at the back, we need another upside down letter U. So we're going to go like that and draw an upside down U. That is going to give us a perfect spot to place our wheel. And the way Denny drove last night, he drove the wheels off that FedEx car so we could actually leave them off if you wanted to. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to put them on there. That's just an expression. All right. I like how this is looking a lot. This is going to be a fun one. All right, let me erase my U while you're finishing up your wheel wells there. I don't need a U floating up in the air, do I? Okay. Next, the wheels. Now here's what we're going to do with the wheels. I'm not actually going to draw the full circle. I know we always do, but I'm just going to draw a little smiley face to make sure that the tire is touching the ground down here. See this? See how subtle that is? And then I'm just going to fill in this in black. And I might put some swirls in there. I might fill in like this. Watch. You know, just do things like that. I'm not going to try to actually draw a perfect wheel in there. And here's why. These wheels, they've been used up. These tires are used up. You know, he's been running them hard. There's a lot of brake dust. It's, it's all used up. So we're just, we're just sketching in wheels there, and they're not really the focus. This car's sitting still. I might, if you're drawing with a pencil, I might go a little lighter in the middle here to make it look like there's a wheel in there. But really, I'm just kind of scribbling in the tires and wheels. We're not going to let them steal the show. They're not going to be the focus of our drawing. We're going to just let them be down there in a dark color. Kind of fade in a way. So you can do this with a pencil or you can do whatever you need. But they're just kind of, kind of not going to be the center of attention right here. We're just making it easy on ourselves down there. All right. Pretty good looking race car there now. Oh, yeah. All righty, all righty. We're going to save Denny for last. Don't worry. All right. Now I think I need to add in... The windows, because then he needs some windows to have just climbed out and celebrate, right? So if you remember what we do is we basically follow the line of our roof. So I'm going to start back here and I'm going to draw a little indentation, a little nudge right there. And I'm just going to follow the roof line. See that? It's basically drawing a thicker roof line. And then I'm going to cut it in half with a black bar known as the B post. The B post right there. All right, 
Well, I really look like how this one's looking. This is going to be such a cool drawing. I can't wait to see yours. All right. I tell you what, we're almost done with this car, aren't we? Aren't we? We're going to have to add Denny's body in there, and then we're going to have to add some FedEx stripes and decals and logos and really make it look good. All right. You know what? I'm going to give another arm to Mr. Denny here. How about this? What if we drew an arm up like this? That's going to be holding the checkered flag. What do you think about that? So give me an arm. Remember I drew a line in the middle and then I just thickened the line like that. See that? Drew my line. It has an angle. It looked like this. Kind of like a clock. What would that be? About seven o'clock? Clock arms, doing something like that. See that? He's going to be holding that checkered flag up in the air. And that's going to be a cool shot. All right. Now we're going to have a headlight in there. Let's get that Toyota Camry headlight in there. Just do a little boat like shape like this. See that? It's a little boat like shape. You know, a boat, the front of a boat kind of looks like that. Yep, just do something like that. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Do the same thing for the rear tail light, too. Just do a little boat shape up here, kind of like this at the rear. I don't think this, well, we drew a driver in the seat once. So we have drawn a person before. We haven't drawn their body. We haven't drawn a face on a person. Um, but and we haven't drawn this view of a driver, but after last night's big win by Denny Hamlin, I figured why not? Let's do it. All right. Now on the body here, let's let's get Denny put together. So the top part of his body is going to be like that. His belt is going to be about where the window is on the car. So just draw a line across for his belt, and you might need to slim him up a little bit. Then he is, uh, you know, he's always in good shape. Got to be in good shape to be a race car driver. So just slim him up, fit him in that box, and then you can just draw the legs down like this. Pretty much, almost straight lines going down like that, and then draw upside down V in the middle for the space between the legs there, and it's coming together. Now he might be a little too short, like on my screen he's just a little too short. Whoops. So I'm going to actually draw the feet in here, even below that line that we drew. See how I did that? I'm going to have to erase this ground line a little bit. But I just drew in the face, or excuse me, not the face, the shoes. They're like almonds, or the shape of eyes. So if an eye is shaped like this, or a football, or an almond. See, I just added the pant legs up, and I pretty much got the shoe. That's what you can do, too. Remember, my motto there is that you can learn to draw by finding shapes that you already know how to draw in other shapes. So we just found an almond, or a football shape, or an eye shape, and made a foot out of it. Can you believe that? If you need to erase some of your guiding lines here, that's fine. Or you can just color over them. Don't worry about all that. All right. Yeah, looking good. Okay, here we go. Draw that car behind Denny's legs there. Okay, this is pretty cool, isn't it? Slim him up even more. He'll, he'll appreciate that. He'll appreciate me slimming him up a little bit. Of course, I'm not going to take all those muscles away. you gotta have got to have him big muscle man Denny there, too. All right. Very nice. All right, so for the hand, I'm just going to make him pump in his fist, kind of like this. Like, he's like, yes, won the race. And the other hand's going to be holding up the checkered flag. So just make a hand, make a little block like this. I'll show you. I'll zoom in, too. But we're just going to make a little block like that. And then I'm going to put a circle in the middle that kind of makes this circle right here like he's got his fist clenched because he just won the race 
All right. And then how is he holding this flag up here? He's got to be holding a hand like this, right? So we're going to... I'll show you right here how this is going to work. This hand's kind of looking like a flame. My dog hears somebody, but... I, you know, I can't put her on camera. There's no way to get her up here, but she's having quite a day. Nola, he's okay. He's okay. She's getting ready to bark. She's being a guard dog. All right. Got the hand holding up the air, the flag up in the air. And now we need to draw the stick for the flag because he's waving it. He's proud. Just won the race. So draw a stick behind his hand like this. All right. Now, do you remember how to draw flags? We've done it before. If you need to go back and watch the YouTube tube episode, you can, you can do that. So I'm going to draw the flag using the, the S method. So I'm going to draw the letter S on the flag like this. Like that. And then I'll go at the bottom and I'll draw another letter S like this. And then I might curl it back like that. The letter D up there. See that? Now, a checkered flag, you know how that goes, right? You got to draw those same S's inside the flag. And remember, they don't have to be perfect. You know why? Well, flag is a piece of cloth and it bends and shapes and flows with the wind. So if your lines are a little jagged, that's okay. Look at there. So it's hash lines. So we're just doing like this, lines like this, except we're doing them all throughout the flag. See that? And then we could add the flag around. So that's another method, but that's all we're doing is just crisscrossing lines. You can do it. And then you take every other line diagonally and you fill it in with black and that makes the checkers. So I did that one. Then I go down diagonally and do that one, go down diagonally and do that one, go down diagonally and do that one. Or you can go across and skip every other block and fill it in with black. That'll give you a checkered flag. See that? You're just doing every other block filled in with black. And that makes the checkered flag come together perfectly. Look at that victory stance. How cool is that? Old Denny Hamlin celebrating. All right. Now let's, uh, let's move on to the face. What do you say? Now Denny was wearing a special mask last night. Did you see it? It's pretty funny. Pretty funny mask. Yeah. Let me see if I can find a picture. Oh yeah, here's a picture. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to my iPad while you're finishing up your flag there. Let's see if we can get it over there. There it is. <laughs> that was the mask that Hamill was wearing last night. He's really wearing a mask there. Can you believe it? That is his face printed on his mask. Well, I don't know what else to say other than that's very funny, isn't it? Yeah, didn't, didn't go with the all black mask, went with his face on the mask. And guess what? He was able to show it off and look like he was smiling in victory lane because he had that mask. Isn't that hilarious? So you can choose to draw that mask if you'd like to. Or you don't have to. I'm going to, though. I think it's pretty funny. So, what you have to do is, I'm going to divide the face in half about like this. Just to indicate his mask is there. I'm going to draw down a line from the sides of the head to make a neck. And I'm going to make a little round part here for the neck. See that? You can erase back in here if you need to. If not, that can just become part of the collar on his fire suit. So here's his chin that I'm shaping in there. Just fill that in a bit. Again, you almost you already have this pretty much drawn. If you need to go back and fix some of your lines, that's okay. Go ahead and do that. All right. So he had a big smile on his mask. So what we're going to do is draw a smile. So right about there. We're going to draw the top line of a smile, just like a smiley face, and then we're going to fill it in. 
Now remember, this is going to be, kind of looks like a Ninja Turtle, doesn't he? This is still a, it's not a, a uh, lifelike drawing, right? This is still somewhere between a cartoon and a lifelike drawing. So that's why we're doing that. So for the smiley face, I just drew, drew a boat, kind of like a canoe, right? Like that. It was a line up like this. And then I went down and, and did that. It's kind of like a boat. And then for the teeth, I don't draw the individual teeth. I just draw a line like this and a line like this. And see how that kind of makes it look like teeth? If you get in there and try to draw each individual tooth, it's hard to make that look good on the picture like this. I'm just telling you, you can do whatever you want. It's your drawing, but I, I recommend you do it kind of like that. All right? So I'm going to erase that floating mouth in the sky, and we're going to go back to our Denny drawing here. For the nose, all I'm going to do is draw a little shadow where the nose goes. So it's like this. Okay? We're not going to draw the whole nose. We're just going to draw a shadow that kind of looks like this. And that will indicate the bottom of our nose. And our eyeballs and our brains will do the rest and we'll know that there's actually an upper part of the nose and all that stuff going on. Our brains know what they're looking at. So there's your nose. This is a great way to draw a person. It's, it's simple and it, I think it looks pretty real to me. All right. Coming together here. For the eyes, again, we're going to do a simplified eye. We're not going to do the whole eye. So all I want you to do is draw that same nose line, but draw it kind of upside down like this. See how it's got a little bracket on either side? And then you just draw a circle in the middle of that, like this. See that? The other eye is kind of going like this. And a circle in the middle. So it's very simple. We're not drawing the whole eye. Look at that. That's a unique way to draw an eye, isn't it? If you want to get really crazy, you can add a little white dot in there. That really helps. Like that. There you go. So if I was to take my eyes, of course you're drawing them in the face of, of Denny, but if I took them and shrunk them down here, let's see if I can do this. Put them down there. Give them some eyes. <laughs> there you go. Give him some eyebrows too. Those are just little lines over there. No, oh, Nola doesn't like eyebrows, I guess. She's growling at the eyebrows. Nola, he's okay. He's okay. <laughs> you have a dog? If you have a dog, you need to tell me your dog's name because I'm interested to know. All right, so Denny, believe it or not, does have hair. We don't, we don't want to leave him bald like this. Nothing wrong with being bald, but Denny has hair. So we need to add some hair in there. Um... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just darken up the top here like this. I'm going to add some little... Now, I just got out of the car, so his hair doesn't have to be perfect. That's another good thing about drawing a race car driver hair is that it can be a little messed up. But Denny likes his hair. He's got some good hair. So we're going to just give him some spikes like that and bring it down. All right? There he is. All right. <laughs> and like that, we have Denny Hamlin's face. Now, it's not a perfect drawing, but uh, it's not a perfect representation of it. I don't know if you'd be able to pick Denny Hamlin out of a lineup like that, but uh, it's pretty close. It's the closest we're going to get today. So hopefully you learned or enjoyed learning about drawing the face like that. We did it very simply, right? Remember just a boat mouth, boat-shaped mouth, just a little line for the nose, Another similar line on the other direction for the eyes, and then a dot in there, and then the eyebrows, like that. So just like that, we made a fairly simple face. Keep practicing that. All right, now let's add in the, uh, the race car here, all the lines and whatnot. We've got our FedEx car here. Let's see if I can stand this up on its side so you can see it. There you go. Those are kind of the lines we're going to do. So we're going to draw that bottom line first. And then we're going to angle it up to the rear wheel like that. And then it comes all the way up to the rear 
tail light like so. And then at the front, there's a very similar line. Don't forget to carry your line up to the nose, but the front has a similar line at a similar angle that cuts up from the wheel up to the A post and the window like that. See that? And then it comes up, whoop, oh gosh. Let me just set that on its wheels. That's where race car wants to be on its wheels. And then it comes back up like this. And actually we do not need a line up here at the nose. I was wrong about that. So there you go. Very simple but bold and fast race car. Winning the race last night. All right. Let me see how y'all are doing. I got to read those comments. That's my favorite part. We're catching up here. There was a lot that just was drawn. So let me see how y'all are doing. And uh, we'll get we'll get rolling here. All right. Yeah, we're having fun. Uh, thank you for all the retweets and all the comments and all the hearts on Twitter. I see y'all are out there watching on Twitter as well. We're having a lot of fun here today. Celebrating a big win last night. Did you watch on FS1? Well, the Xfinity race is coming up today, hopefully, if the rain lets up. And, uh, yeah, we'll get racing again at Charlotte this coming weekend. All right. Gary's out there. Leroy is the name of Rich's dog. What's up, Leroy? Logan. Logan, this is the Procreate app. Uh, let's see, we got Terry. Hey, Terry, how's it going out there in Texas? We have Mike. The, Mike says the Deliverminator. <laughs> All right. Jack's excited about drawing that mask. I'm, I hope you enjoyed drawing that mask, Zach. Now, we can't really see the number behind Denny, can we? No. So what we're going to have to do is we'll just draw some purple lines down back here to make the 11. We're not going to really be able to see it, but we'll draw it back there. You'll know it's there. Back behind Denny. The number 11 is going to be back there. All right, do you remember how to draw the FedEx logo? Well, let me get my purple out and show you. Here's the purple we're going to choose. It's kind of a dark purple in between bright purple and blue. All right. Nola. Nola's out there making all sorts of noise. All right. So for FedEx, it's capital F, right? Make these blocky letters, thick letters like this, capital F. We're not almost done there with the F, like that. Then a lowercase e, right? Lowercase e. I just write the letter, and then I start to make it thicker, fill it in. Lowercase e. And then a lowercase d, that's just a circle of course, make it thick and then shoot up that other end of the d. All right. Now we're going to switch to orange. We're going to do a capital E. Now make sure the E and the D are touching back to back. There's no space in between them. so. About the same thickness you made the F, make the E, capital E, like so. All right, looking good. And then final final letter is the letter X. Make an X. And I think I told you this last time, but do you know where the arrow is? Can you see the arrow yet in this logo? It's not there by mistake. Artists like you and me design logos like this, and they intentionally make sure that they convey a message. And what does FedEx do? FedEx delivers packages by truck and plane and boat and all sorts of things. Well, there's a lot of going, right? A lot of movement with FedEx. So they put that arrow in there. Pretty awesome. So that's how you do the FedEx logo. Now you want to do it on your car down here, right? Like that. I've got a regular zoo going on. You can hear my bird. You can hear my dog. All right. That's looking pretty good, isn't it? And if you want to, let me see here. I'm going to take a look at Denny's car from last night. Because I want to see exactly how they designed this car. While you're working on that FedEx logo, I'm going to take a 
look at Denny's car here. Oh yeah, good looking car. It says delivering strength on the hood. Very cool. So it just has the FedEx logo on the back. On the hood it says delivering strength, but we can't see the hood unfortunately. All right, now my orange, I'm gonna go over this line I drew down here. We need a thick orange line to cover that black line. Now if you can't cover it, that's okay. Just draw it on top of it or beneath it. It's no big deal, but we need to start brightening up this car with some colors. The 11 even has an outline on it in orange. So those lines that we drew for the 11, you, know, you can barely see it. Denny's standing in front of it, but we're still going to put it on there. This big line at the back is orange. It goes into the tail light just a little bit. It doesn't actually go into it, but it goes up against it just a little bit. Beautiful orange colors. Make sure you outline the orange here as well and up here as well. The nose. Do, 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 do. A lot of orange. Now, Denny, we have to color in a fire suit today, too. So let's let's find a picture of him. I want to get that exactly right, that fire suit. So let me get the right picture here. Okay, so Denny's got purple legs on his fire suit. There's a picture of him. That's kind of hard to see there, but we'll, we'll make it right for you. All right, here's where the lines go on Denny's fire suit. They go up the side. A little bit like this up into the arm like that right into the armpit and then the belt has orange around the, the edges of it and down the middle and then his collar has orange on it so at the bottom of his neck right there there's orange there's an orange halfway on the sleeve like this you can actually erase this line in the middle of his arm And then there's an orange down in the middle, right below his knees. So right down here, there's like a letter V in orange. See that? I know that was a lot. Just do your best there. There's also some orange on his Jordans, his shoes. Like that. So there you go. He's also going to have FedEx on his chest on his suit, so make sure you put that in there. Okay, now it's time to move on to purple. Ready for purple? Grab that purple for Denny Hamlin. Can you hear that beautiful rain out there? Is it raining where you are? It's raining like crazy here in North Carolina. Where are you watching from? Are you getting a lot of rain where you're watching? Okay, time for purple. I'm going to start filling in. If you need to save this for the end, you go right ahead. Sometimes I know it's hard to fill in, but uh, I'm going to start doing it here. And I'm going to start filling in the purple. Pretty soon we're going to add rain and a background here, so stick with me. We're going to have a beautiful drawing when we finish up. Filling in that purple, making it look oh so good. Maybe you have crowns or colored pencils or markers, or maybe you don't have any colors yet. Maybe you need to save it for another day. That's okay. It just spreads the fun around to another day, you know? I'm going to fill in some purple there, just like that. I'm going to fill in the number in purple. we got to fill in his pants right here in purple. So everything in between the belt and that V is going to be purple on Denny Hamlin. So just fill in that purple. I know, it's a lot of purple, but it looks good. And actually his belt is purple too. So you can fill in the belt as well. Now I want to leave some orange here in the belt, like that. The outline of the belt is orange. The sides are purple, not the chest. The chest is white, so just the sides here are purple and under the arm. And then, uh, let's see. I need to make sure I get this right. Let's see here. Oh, you know what? I've already got it wrong a little bit. The, the ends of his fire suit are purple over here, where his hands are. So it actually is going to be purple up to there. There we go. Nothing wrong with that. All right. How about his shoes? Yeah, the little toes, the tippy toes of his shoes are purple. So add a little purple in there. We're going to get this right. I like being accurate. 
and then we need to add FedEx in there. I'm just going to use the FedEx I already drew to save some time, but if you need to redraw it, you should go ahead and redraw it. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just going to take my FedEx here and, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's see here. What, what, what am I doing here? Let's pick our colors here. I'll just draw it in again like you have to. So remember, it's a capital F, lowercase e, lowercase d. Then I'll grab my orange, capital E, and a lowercase x, which ironically is the same shape as an uppercase x. All right, there we go. You can also add some other logos in there if you want to, like the Toyota is in red right here. So I'm just going to add a red block. You can't really, we're getting so small, we can't really add everything in there. We've got the Coke logo over here. And then in black, you have the Series logo, which is the Cup Series, right? The NASCAR Cup Series logo. So we're going to put that right there. We've got Goodyear right there. And I'm just doing little scribbles just to add it in there. I'm even going to scribble in on the collar and on the sleeves a little bit just to we're so small we can't can't draw in everything there then I'm gonna get my white I'm gonna add in the Toyota logo in there we'll put in a little Jumpman logo in here maybe little Jumpman logo a little signature scribble look at that looking so good alright hey I forgot some purple up here on the nose of the car didn't I all right, let's pick my right layer here and color in the nose of that car. We're getting close. Pretty soon we're going to finish the back of it. The background, I mean. We're going to add the story of the wind in here with some rain and all sorts of other things. There we go. All right. Just like that, the paint, on, not the paint, but the decals on Denny Hamlin's car are done. All right, now I want to color in the rear tail light with a dark red, like that. And the front headlight is going to have a gray, a light gray in there, like that. See that? And then I'll probably use that same gray back here in the window, like this. Even over here, I know there's not a glass actually right there, but we're just going to do that there. It's going to make Denny pop out of the car even more visually. All right, let's add a skin tone in there for so for Denny, his skin tone is is um, let's see, how do you get that skin tone? You want kind of a peach, right? So I try to find a bit of a yellow and an orange and a red right in the middle there, and then I go down in the grays and I find that peach color for Denny. So go in there. We're just gonna color in his face like that. It might be a little darker, but. Maybe I'll lighten it up just a little bit. Oh, maybe too light there. I already got it in, his, in the mouth a little bit there. I got to clear out his teeth so it doesn't look like he has yellow teeth, but there we go. It's pretty close. Color in the hand, too. Already took off his gloves, I guess. There we go. All right, now I'm going to erase back into the mouth and clean up those teeth a little bit. There we go. I left that line for the mask on there, right? You could barely tell he was wearing a mask because he had his face on his mask. All right. Wow, that's looking good, isn't it? All right, so pretty much done with our car. You could always go in and add some darker swooshes and lines in the window here, like this if you want to, just to give it a little more pizzazz. I think we're pretty much done with that. I want to give Denny a little shadow down here. Connect his feet with a dark line like this to give him a shadow. Okay. All right, now what do we need to do? We need to tell our story of that race. So I'm going to add in some asphalt. And then I'm going to add in some rain. Now you can do the rain in all sorts of different ways. You could do blue if you wanted to. You know, water is blue. But I am actually going to take the colors we used in our drawing, I'm going to 
make the rain out of those colors. So all we're doing is we're just doing some up and down lines and I'm just dashing like this, right? Some up and down swooshes like this. And it's okay if you go over the car a little bit. It's okay if you go over Denny a little bit because rain's going over everything, right? I'm starting with some dark gray and black ones. The rain's falling, it's okay. It's going over the car a little bit, no big deal. Rain gets on everything. I'm gonna keep it off of his face though, just to keep his face clear like that. But the rain's kind of going everywhere here. It was a rainy day in Darlington. I think it's still raining. But we got the race in. How awesome is that? All right. Then you can grab your purple, the purple we used. And you can, you can draw some rain with purple. Rain is just water, and water reflects a lot of colors. So water can really turn into almost any color you want it to. I mean, if, if the sky is blue, the water is going to look blue. If there's a sunset, the water is probably going to look a little bit uh, red and orange. So there we go, we're adding it in. I'm also going to do some blue, even though there was no blue in our drawing, but that's okay. Blue is a cousin to the color purple, so add some blue in there. Under the lights, taking the wind. I'm also going to do some orange rain. That's right, that's right, orange rain. I know it sounds crazy, but it's happening. It's happening right now. There we go. So there's Denny Hamlin winning the race in the rain at Darlington. Special race on a Wednesday. No crowd, unfortunately. We're staying home, staying safe, but, but I tell you what, it was still great to be out there and racing for you all. It was a fun night. And just like that, our drawing pretty much is done. You can do as much rain or as little rain as you want. It's really up to you. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to see what happens if I color in black back here in kind of a dark gray. I don't know. This may not work. I can erase it, though, if, if it doesn't work. Let's see here. Let's see how this turns out. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm going to color in here. You might not want to try this. This might get a little crazy, but I'm going to try it on mine. Taking a water brush here, and I'm gonna I'm going over some stuff. I'm gonna have to erase it in a minute, but drawing some water back here. It kind of looks like smoke, doesn't it? Sometimes I just like to experiment. You never know how it's gonna turn out, so I'm just experimenting here. You can experiment too, but but believe me, if you experiment, sometimes it messes up a drawing, so don't be afraid to experiment, but don't get sad if it messes up the drawing. See what I can do is I can erase. This was a night race. And so I can erase what I'm doing here if I need to. So if you don't want to mess up your drawing, don't do this. You might just want to watch this one. All right. So we did that. Let me add a little purpley blue in there on that too. Ooh, hello. Oh yeah. I think this is gonna look good though, actually. This is a little special water brush I'm using. Kind of looks like you just did a burnout. Now trust me, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. It's gonna come back to life here in a second. Trust me, it's gonna look good. Add some blue up in here, just to indicate it's a little rainy. All right, then I can go back in and I can actually erase some of this. Get his face back there. Look at that, getting that face back, getting his suit cleared up. See that? Getting his arm back. Got to get our checkered flag back too. Get those checkers in there. See what I mean? Got his hand back. There's his face. There's his car coming back. Coming back to life. Just got a little wet. Cleaning it up. All right, looking pretty good, isn't it? I like what happened down here. It's darkened up the car a little bit, made it look like it had some shadows. A little dirt from all the racing on there. Clean up his shoes, gotta keep those Jordans looking good. Oh yeah, see what I'm saying? What if we even add some white rain in there now? Oh yeah, 
So you can really get crazy with your experiments. You can have a lot of fun, but sometimes you just got to be willing to make mistakes that you can't fix with your experiments and and uh, and then try again if you don't like it. So don't be afraid to make those experiments with your artwork. And that white rain, I really like how that turned out. What about you? Do you like how yours turned out? Even if you don't like it, I hope you're going to post it in the comments so I can see them. I love seeing that. We'll show them off at the end of the week and uh, we'll have a good time. So, all right. I think I'm going to sign my name on this one and call it a day. What do you think? Oop, let me make that a little smaller. Sign Boris in there, 2020. I like to put the date on there so I know when I drew it. And there you go. There's Denny Hamlin winning the night race at Darlington in the rain on a Wednesday. What an awesome win that was. Well, thank you for watching. It's been fun. We sure had a fun time last night racing. We'll be back at it this Sunday. Hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend. Of course, I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know why I'm saying that yet. I'll see you tomorrow. It's Friday, right? What's today? Thursday. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll draw tomorrow. Join me tomorrow. See ya.